what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the film The Batman now this is a new version of The Batman played by Robert Pattinson who of course also plays Bruce Wayne now this particular film is directed by Matt Reeves and it is a reboot of the Batman film franchise now in this film Batman is already like in his days of like early days of crime fighting so we don't get to see like the origin you already had this is spoiler territory too we don't get to see like the origin of how he became Batman and all that kind of stuff he's just already Batman which I thought was kind of cool and awesome that they already went into like the the character, you know, itself, you know, we had to see the origin to it and all that kind of stuff again. So he's after like the serial killer who's leaving behind like riddles and stuff with like his victims, and of course this is the Riddler. And that's the main bulk of the film itself. But at the same time, you got like a uh, the love interest, of course, who's like Selena Kyle, Catwoman. She's also in this film too as well. And I like the kind of way that they kind of fit her into the story as well. So I thought she was pretty good. You also have like a uh, stuff for like a uh, Commissioner Gordon, who's played by uh, Jeffrey Wright. He has like a conflict with like his own police like force and so on like about him allowing Batman to be at the scene of the crimes and all that kind of stuff doing like his det detective work. That was one of the things I thought was very awesome about the film. You get to see like constantly like Batman like using like his detective skills to solve like the riddles and so on. And he's right there with the police all the time. You know, he even can go on like, the police stations and all that. So I did thought that was kind of cool that they were doing him like that. Because they did have that like in the Christopher Nolan films too like to a certain extent. But this film they do it a lot, you know, it's like constant scenes with him. And I must admit at times I feel like it was like too much with him always being around at the police and trying to solve like the crime scene because it does look odd. Then he's like dressed up like a badge, you know, and everybody's like, it's like in police uniforms and so on. Now you also have uh, other characters like uh, Andy Circus who plays uh, Alfred too as well. He's like in the film, he, like, he's like as usual, giving like good advice to like Bruce Wayne and so on. And you do get to see like more things too. You get to see like, uh, it's mostly like Batman in the film a lot. Like I mean a lot, like it's really just most of him. It's like he's almost in like every scene. I did hear him say it and it does seem like that. And I think that is cool that we get to see so much of him. It's like he's definitely more in the film than like Bruce Wayne, like himself. And I think Robert Pattinson did like a pretty good job in the role of like Bruce Wayne and Batman. I thought it was awesome. Now another thing I thought was kind of cool too about the film, it does borrow like a lot of like a story from like the actual comic books. I think that's kind of cool. It's like things I want to touch on that they did have in the film that I thought was awesome that they included that, they included that you know. There's also like Easter eggs and Storm. And like little uh, uh, treats at the end of the film if you gotta continue to watch it. Now I love the look of this film. It's like dark and gloomy and it's raining a lot constantly throughout the film. And it has like this strong noir tone to it where it's like, it's like Batman's constantly narrating the film as it's going on. Or you can say Bruce Wayne is like narrating, you know, like about his presence being like in Gotham City and the criminals and all that. It's constantly going on throughout the film. And I thought that was awesome that they did that. Now I must admit I'm not too like big of a fan of how they look, like the look of like Batman and so on. I think it's okay. It's like the, uh, the look of like the Riddler and so on and the Penguin and all that. I think the Penguin's kind of okay. But like some of the other characters, you know, I don't really, I wasn't really feeling like the way they look. Even Catwoman looked like solid, you know. But there are like a tot lot of characters in the film that I thought were pretty cool or great. Like Zoe Kravitz as Selena Kyle Catwoman. I thought she stood out pretty well. Also Paul Dano as uh, the Riddler or Edward Nashton. Even uh, Colin Farrell as uh, Oswald Cobblepot the Penguin. I thought he was pretty solid in this role too as well. You also get to see like his club, the Iceberg Lounge. I thought that's awesome that they have incorporated that into the film. Like Andy Serkis as Alfred Pennyworth. And he had like a, like a lot of scream time too as well. I thought he was pretty good. Uh, John Totoro as uh, Carmon, Carmon Falcone, I mean Carmon Falcone, he's in the film too as well, so I thought he stood out pretty well. Then uh, Jeffrey Wright as uh, James Gordon, like he is constantly like with Batman throughout the whole film, like his scenes, like they have to solve like, the, uh, the riddles, like puzzles and uh, clues and so on. So yeah, I thought all that was pretty decent. I also like the, uh, the theme on the film, like, the actual music that, that plays constantly on the film, like this new Batman theme, I think that's awesome too as well. And then it was a very long film, it's three hours long, very long, and it feel like it was that long too. But in uh, this film, The Batman, I'm definitely going to be probably checking this out again, yeah, more than like I would be definitely checking this out in the theaters again. I'm going to give this a B minus, because I do feel like there were certain things that weren't like, too too good for me but they were just like okay I thought they could, could have done certain things better I thought the action scenes were like pretty cool and awesome but I thought it could have been like a little better you know but in the end I'm just giving the, the Batman I'm giving this like a B minus please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well